Unfortunately, about one in every three people, both men and women, have some form of cardiovascular disease, such as coronary artery disease, stroke, or other peripheral vascular disease. Very prevalent. When men are younger, they usually develop heart disease first. I think the bad news for women is that we're starting to catch up much sooner. It used to be that we had really good protective levels of HDL cholesterol in our blood prior to menopause. And that number starts to sort of drop off a little bit and women are catching up. The other bad news for women is that after menopause, we're becoming more obese and developing more diabetes, which are both risk factors for heart disease. So I think we're gonna be on a level playing field within the next 10 years. Most women do not know this. I think most women still fear breast cancer, when in fact all cancers together, including breast cancer, cause less death in American women than heart disease. We actually lump them into two groups controlled risk factors and those that we have no control over. So if we look at those that we have some control over, that would be high blood cholesterol, high blood pressure, smoking, obesity, inactivity, and diabetes. It is good to know your numbers. For example, your blood pressure should be 120 over 80 or less. That's an optimal blood pressure. Anything over 140 or 90 would be considered hypertensive. So it's good to establish some baseline numbers. Uh, the uh, American Heart Association has told us that we should get 150 minutes of moderate activity a week, at least in 10 minute increments at a time, or 75 minutes of vigorous activity a week. Vigorous would be things like jogging, aerobic dancing, bicycling, and those kinds of activities. The warning symptoms of a heart attack can differ between men and women. Most people get some type of chest discomfort and they can describe it as a heaviness, a fullness, um, a pressure in their chest. But women often have different symptoms such as shortness of breath, anxiety, um, sometimes pain in the neck and in the jaw, and even lightheadedness. I think I would like to challenge people out there to get to their primary doctors, look at their family tree, and look at their risk for heart disease, and then try to prevent them or slow the, the onset of heart disease. I think that's really important.